Hey there, Chris Gamble from Customized here. What you can see in front of you is the Logitech Harmony app. On the left hand side are activities that we have set up for controlling Sonos music playlists, various TV activities for different set top boxes. We have a TV scene there called Movie Night. At the bottom there, that's where we can edit activities or add new ones. At the moment, in the middle there, it's showing no activity running. As we select an activity, we'll see that portion of the app change to give you control of the activity. Down the right-hand side, these are our devices. So we can see we've got... It's giving me some feedback there that there are 10 lights on in, in the house. This button here brings up some Philips Hue scenes. We have our Amazon Fire TV stick. If we wanted to do specific controls of that, we can see our three rooms of Sonos, our TV. So this is, on this part of the, the app, it's, it shows you all the controls of the, the device. This won't be what's shown when you run an activity. And Apple TV gives us our, our minimal control options for Apple TV. Down at the bottom there on the right, you can see edit devices. You can add a new device or edit an, an existing device. If we close that. And we come over back again to activities. So if I trigger an activity, in this case, if I press watch TV, that's sending a command to my Panasonic TV. It's turning it on. It's selecting the appropriate input. In this case, it's just selecting uh, input TV, which is the built-in free view. And it's also turning on or setting a volume on the Sonos play bar which we've got in the living room once that activities come up and I can in front of me I can see the TVs come on on the app it's giving me some presets so I've got like some hotkeys to press in the numerical input so when I press BBC 2 or ITV for example it, it punches in that 103 um, as if I was doing it on the on the keypad of the on the remote, the physical remote control itself. I can edit these favorites um, if I wish to add some more, or if I want to move them around, press and hold. I can move them around like the icons on your on your smartphone. So I've also got. Looking back to here, I've got these three options along the bottom, my favourites, um, frequently used buttons like channel up and down, volume up and down, play pause, the numerical keypad and the navigation arrows for the, the activity that I'm, I'm in. And this final one is like a gesture swipe pad. So volume down, volume up, channel, changes the channel up and down, a slow drag is like a rewind if I had Sky Plus or some sort of recording set top box, if I do a quick swipe, channel up, channel down, so that's some some features of an activity like watch TV. If I want to change activity, I simply just select the activity on the left hand side. I can see in front of me on the screen, we switched over to HDMI input two on the TV and I'm faced with the welcome screen of with Amazon Fire and I can see it's advertising for the Grand Tour, etc. The middle section of the app has changed to be 
um, the navigation buttons for the Fire TV. I've still got my volume up and down for Sonos Play Bar. And I've got Play Pause if I was watching a movie or a, or a show on Amazon TV. Um, Apple TV, very similar. I'm not going to select that, but it would change the TV to HDMI 1, power on Apple TV, uh, and the center screen would be the, the controls for Apple TV. Movie Night is a scene. Uh, it's a scene that also adjusts lighting. So when I press Movie Night, I have the, the wall lights dimming down, the pendants go off, and I have a color changing bulb in a, in a lamp that changes color okay so movie night for us initiates apple tv and that's where we typically use that to watch netflix rent films on itunes um, so it it does a similar thing to watch apple tv but it has the additional feature of adjusting lights to different brightness levels and, and color changing when I turn off Movie Night, it turns off the boxes, uh, the set-top box of Apple TV, turns off the TV, but also returns the lighting to a warm white. Uh, some extra lights come on, that the pendants in the room come on as well, and there, uh, there's an increase in brightness. So I've finished watching my film, and so I want the room to be lit a little bit brighter. Uh, and you set that up when you when you create an activity. I also have some activities here for, that are just audio only. So for us, we have Morning Sonos. Uh, we can we can issue that command to our Amazon Echo. So what we've done with that scene, our kitchen and living room speakers come on at. at varying volumes and we've chosen a preset BBC Radio 2 that's our morning preference however our weekend breakfast is slightly different in that we the same two zones come on but the kitchen is a little bit increased in volume living room a little bit lower um, but it's playing a playlist on Spotify called Great British Breakfast uh, and that's just something that we trigger um, again either we we send that voice command to Amazon Echo or if we've got the Harmony app and um, we we use that to, to trigger that activity now all we've all we've used for the control of all this activities and devices and lighting We've added a Logitech Harmony Hub. There's no remote control. There's just a Harmony Hub which connects via Wi-Fi to our network. We tell it the devices that we have in the room and, and, and in other parts of the house. It also scans our Wi-Fi network to find things like Sonos and Philips Hue hubs. That device costs less than £100, yet it allows you to have a clutter-free uh, living room of all the remote controls, allows you to build some fun scenes and activities for um, your entertainment. It also has the possibility to also add, if I go to Harmony Setup, you can also add some smart home devices. So home control so if you had nest you would log in associate your nest account with harmony and you would be able to build a scene for that movie scene i could also add a temperature adjustment if i had some motorized blinds that were compatible with logitech harmony i would also be able to close or open open blinds um, so if I close that, we come back to here. It's, when we make any, you know, if we're in that editing part of the app, 
you know, the, the updates are, it checks for updates to make sure you know, it knows if we've made any changes. All those things are, are stored in the cloud with your Logitech Harmony account. Um, so I'm just going to shut that down. Powering off, turns off everything that's not needed. And no activity is running. So I hope that's been a good introduction to the Logitech Harmony app. Like I say, we were just controlling the Harmony hub. There's no remote controls involved here. However, we could add a remote control to the system, um, again, in the settings. So simple home control with a little bit of extras like lighting controls for scenes or activities like movie night. We're controlling our music system. Uh, we're able to broadcast an activity across multiple rooms of audio. Um, so for us, a very powerful little hub with a low uh, buy-in price, entry price. We do offer professional installation of the Harmony products so that you are happy that everything's been